okay first let us see how the current through the inductor varies okay uh, so what shall we do we'll click on this current marker and place it over here on the top of the inductor and then we shall do the transient analysis in order to know how the current varies with respect to time that is current how the current through the inductor varies with respect to time in order to do that go to analysis then go to setup here is the analysis setup window you can choose any of these analysis in order to do ac analysis ac sweep then there is dc sweep and then you can do parametric temperature all have certain features that is if you click on temperature it will uh, give you options so that you can see how the circuit works with respect to temperature okay what we need here is transient analysis that is how the circuit works with respect to time in this short period of time how the circuit works uh, this all are unnecessary what we need is just the final time this final time will give you the graph till that point okay i've used 8 milli okay done then close as you can see the time constant of the circuit is 1 milli uh, if you if you are not sure how to get time constant i suggest you to go through any of this uh, online courses all right for a rl circuit quickly i tell you how it is 1 milli this 10 ohm is in parallel with 10 ohm after the switch is closed that is 5 ohms effective that 5 ohm will be in series with 10 ohm so that is 15 uh, ohms so the time constant of rl circuit is given by l by r so that is 15 milli upon 15 ohm that is 1 milli okay so let's see how the current varies okay after the analysis setup is done we need to simulate the circuit you can use f11 or also you can go to analysis then simulate so after the switch is closed the current through the inductor varies from 750 milliampere to 500 milliampere but it will not change immediately because inductor resists the change in the current uh, if you have gone through the website of mine you can see the detailed explanation there please go through that if you are uh, not understanding uh, why this uh, current is changing from 750 to 500 and all okay as you can see we have plotted 8 milli so the graph will be till 8 milli the time constant is 1 milli so it will take effectively 5 milliseconds to reach the steady state the current uh, the inductor the circuit will be what it will uh, be in the steady state after this 5 milliseconds that is the current through the inductor will be 0.5 milliampere that is steady current it will not change so till 5 milliseconds this is the transient behavior of the circuit if we have done we have done transient analysis right you can see how the circuit works we have uh, we are seeing currently we are seeing the current through the inductor as how it varies uh, from 0 seconds to 5 milliseconds after that it will reach the steady state so this analysis is very important if you are designing circuits okay also you can see the current through the resistor also okay in order to do that just put the current marker over this resistor then go to analysis simulate okay you can see here uh, if the inductor was not present you think in this circuit then the if the inductor was not present then what would happen all three resistor would come in parallel there is 1.5 ampere of current so the current through each branch would be 0.5 amps here also it has a 0.5 amps but it will take certain time that is 5 milliseconds because the inductor takes 5 milliseconds to reach the steady state and in the steady state condition inductor acts as a short circuit so the current through the resistor which we have marked here varies in this fashion okay so 
it'll take how many same uh, time constant 5 milliamps 5 milliseconds to reach the current 0.5 amps or 500 milliampere so that's how you do the transient analysis okay you can also use voltage marker and all but uh, that is not necessary in this video <coughs> i'll be posting a couple of more videos on uh, how to simulate okay thanks for watching please uh, visit my site in order to understand this circuit like how the circuit behaves i have uh, explained in detail okay please subscribe thank you